everyone, Daniel Kaiser here at E3 2016 at the Sony PlayStation booth where I'm joined now by Chris Reese, who's the director of Bend Studio up in beautiful Bend, Oregon, talking about a beautiful game, Days Gone, just announced here at E3. Congratulations on the reveal. You guys must be super stoked. Tell us all about Days Gone. Days Gone is about Deacon St. John, who is a drifter, bounty hunter. It's set in an open world in the high desert. It's like two years after some global pandemic that's come through, wiped out mankind, and the world is overrun with these, what we call freakers. As the player, you have to take on this horde and survive. To talk about the uniqueness of this IP, who do you think is the target audience here? Who are you designing this game for? What type of player? Um, you know, anybody who, who's really into taking on a high action game, Again, it's open world, so vary him out. But it's also got a, a very strong narrative. You, you follow Deacon and his sort of journey through this environment and what's going on and, and, and how he sort of moves on to the next level. He seems like a very intriguing character. What can you tell us? What little backdrop can you give us about Deacon? So he was part of an motor, outlaw motorcycle group. He's kind of a badass, you know, in, in the, the world before things went bad. So this is a really harsh environment now. So only the strongest of it and, and toughest individuals have been able to actually survive and still live. Sort of the ongoing thing that you, you quickly find out, surviving isn't living. Now, let's talk a little bit about Unreal Engine and why you chose Unreal Engine for this project. What was it about UE that helped you bring your, or is helping you to bring your vision for the game to life? Primarily, it was, it was an opportunity with, with the, the tools that Unreal had for the pipeline. It, it sort of empowered all our designers and artists to start being able to prototype this. It's new IP, so it was a lot of exploration that we had to do to sort of get some of these concepts right, get the theme right, get the gameplay right. Um, and that just gave us this huge running start to be able to do that, sort of prove, prove out these concepts. Tell us how it's allowing your team to kind of fulfill their vision artistically for the game. I mean, you have a lot of uh, moving parts on screen at one time. Uh, there's a lot of things going into um, replicating or at least portraying beautiful Bend, Oregon area. What is it about the engine that kind of brings those things um, in an uncompromised manner to life? You know, primarily it's um, just being able to sort of iterate on the game and very easily and sort of, you know, the way we, the, the team is actually able to interact with one another much closer at a closer level with the assets. You know, we can get them in very quickly, we can play test it right away and, and sort of build on that sort of the visual quality and, and where we need to go. So we're, we're, we're using a lot of the systems that are in, you know, just in the base UE4. We're also modified it, you know, for the specific needs of the IP. But it's, it's got a great, you know, it's a great engine that has a lot of extensibility that allows us to do that. So it's a fantastic project just revealed here at E3. So when can we expect to see some more? Because I'm itching to see some more gameplay. There, there's going to be more. We're, we're just getting started. Yeah. yeah. And what's the website? Oh, it's uh, benstudio.com. Benstudio.com. Chris, we appreciate your time very much. Congratulations on the announcement at E3. For more on the game and all things Unreal Engine, head on over to unrealengine.com.